Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Dwyron here, and now that fall is upon us, I thought I would go ahead and give you a heads up on what you can expect to see this fall season, as well as this upcoming winter season, on my channel. Now, my releases this month have been a little bit sporadic, and a large reason for that is because I've been thinking a lot about what I want to release this fall and this winter season, uh, what I'm going to be thinking about doing next year, um, all that stuff. Those of you who've been following my streams also know I've had like headaches with, you know, my cat needing to like go to the vet, my dad being in the hospital, moving soon. It, it's just been kind of crazy, but I have tried to put out steadier releases for you guys regardless. So I uh, hope I've done well on that and you've enjoyed those videos. I suppose before I say anything else though, I should point out, since many of you are cat people, the cat is doing fine. Uh, most surprisingly, when older cats get ill, that's never a good thing. Uh, but looks like uh, she's gonna pull through, and the cat will be with me for quite some time. Hopefully, hopefully. That said, what are you doing this fall and this winter? Well, some of it you already know. The project I'm... one of the two projects I'm really, really passionate about the Sitting Down with Dwyer series that I began. We started off uh, our first episode with Andrew Jackson, got to talk to him, how things went in the Go Congress. Haven't checked all that out. Go ahead and do so. Following that, we got to sit down with Haley and ask her a whole bunch of questions on how she became pro, her early life, uh, studying the game, all that good stuff. If you haven't checked that out as well, I recommend you do so. I thought when I was going to do this video today, I would have an answer on who the next one was going to be, and you could expect that. Unfortunately, uh, still doing scheduling, still not entirely certain who it's going to be. I will say it's probably going to be another professional. Uh, the series will not always be professionals, but I think we're going to have at least one more professional on the show before we switch to some other people who maybe um, you better know. Uh, some people I'm probably gonna have on in the future. Uh, X298, you know him. I do want to have him on for reasons that you will have to discover in the future. Uh, Nick Sabicki, probably want to see if he wants to uh, drop by because there's a few things I'd like to ask him as well. Those are some of the two uh, more well-known people who are, you know, making videos, having them on, asking them a couple of questions might be kind of cool. Having people on who you maybe don't know so well, who are also kind of getting into the making videos thing and streaming thing might also be kind of cool. And of course, having professionals on, definitely very cool. Exciting first season, exciting first season. I've seen that with Dwarren. Can't, can't wait for these videos. Cannot wait for them at all. I hope you guys are going to really be enjoying them. But along with these videos, obviously not going to uh, abandon the ones that I already currently have running. My real board lecture series, uh, as you can see here, I uploaded one of those today. Really great game with Japanese players playing for influence in ways that you don't normally see. Loved going over that game bit disappointed on how the video came out visually. I thought it was going to be like the cr like nice and crisp, but the shadows were doing a something a little bit strange. I'm not entirely certain why that is. Uh, part of it is hardware related. The uh, camera that I have is not the greatest, and let's face it, I didn't exactly get a degree in video editing, so I'm doing the best I can. Games that I have had, of course, against uh, other amateur players on various servers. Your Netmarble, which is, you know, Buduk TV server hosted over on Netmarble. Um, your Tygem series, those of you who have not been keeping up with the stream. We are six done on there right now. Those videos are coming uh, probably this week. Those videos are on the way. Uh, got, have, a, have a few backlog, like the 8 Dawn series on that marble I haven't released yet. Uh, we're slowly releasing those out, making sure you guys, you know, can see those before I give more 9 Dawn games to you guys. I, I don't I don't want to just like forget the 8 Dawns, because they, they were fun to play, and there was like a lot of stuff to learn from them. They are really, really great games. So I want to make sure that you guys uh, get those. So you can expect those, you can expect those. 
Um, basics. Um, basics. Basics is gonna be weird. Basics. Yeah, the basic series. That's gonna be strange. That's gonna be strange because our basics account on KGS right now is up to six down. Because we we played this game right. Our second game, I skipped ahead of it. I released the game against the three down. There's a couple against Qs that are coming uh, as well. But I skipped ahead because I know you guys probably wanted to see the game against the three down. That was one and it ranked us up, so now we were five and then the five drifted to six, so now we're a six don. We're gonna try and play a basic game against six don. It's not gonna go well. I am not a professional player. There is no chance in hell that I can play a basic game with the rules that I've been playing with against a six don. But we're gonna make an attempt anyway, and it's gonna be fun, I think. I think. I think it's gonna be fun. It might be might be cringeworthy, or it might be fun. I don't know. That's what's enjoyable about making videos. You never know how it's gonna be received. Uh, shorties. I have a line of shorties that I'm recording. Uh, can't wait till those are out. You can always expect those. Things that you might not be aware of. I'm making an intro to go series for people who never like learned any of the rules. And I've been saying this for a while now, and the reason why it's not out yet is because I'm really passionate about this Intro to Go series, and I'm trying to get it right. I've had multiple recordings of this series, uh, I just haven't liked what I've had so far. So it's like, pew, throw it in the trash and redo it, because this thing's gotta be right. This thing's gotta be really, really good. Uh, unfortunately, it's also evolving. This Intro to Go series is gonna be... Um, I hope release in October. The very, very latest, sometime in October, it's gonna be a release. It's gonna be a release, it's gonna be released. But I'm essentially having two characters in the video learn how to play Go, which has taken lovely editing that I don't even wanna get into to pull that off. But I, these characters are gonna be learning more than just the basics and how to play the game, more than just the basic rules. They're gonna be learning about, uh, you know, basic Jiseki and Aji and like the this the normal topics, like the basic topics of this game. This is gonna be, I guess, it, a basic series on Go that um, will be a great primer for anyone who wants to keep learning the game. Uh, essentially, I think it'll be a great learning series for anyone from, you know, just starting the game to 15, 10 Q-ish, maybe, maybe, uh, somewhere in there. That That's my hope for this series. I think with these two characters and maybe a few guests that I might bring on for that particular series as well, I, I think there's a lot I can do with it. So I really, really want to get it right. Uh, suffice it to say, it's in the works, and when I have it to my satisfaction, I will be releasing it. Uh, part of the problem with doing videos for so long is that your own, like, I don't, like, forget what you guys are expecting. Like, your own standards for making videos. It, it just, like, keeps increasing more and more and more. So, you, you kind of have to match it, not just because, like, you guys expect to see, like, top quality videos, but because you yourself expect to make top quality videos. So, a bit frustrating, but it's a lot of fun. Now, I do want to mention, again, and I mention this a lot, uh, my channel isn't 100% centered around Go, but it is kind of taken on a lean towards the question of how do you spread Go uh, in the West. Uh, typically that was answered by, you know, you take a uh, board game, you have a couple of friends, you go to a library or a bookstore. <laughs> do those still exist? Most of the ones around me are shut down. I don't know if they do or not. Uh, but yeah, you, you go there, you demo the game, people are like, hey, what's this? Because they're coming there for other reasons, and when they're there, they see it, and they're like, eh, what's that? And they can learn how to play the game because they're demoing it. My channel is kind of like that in a bit. Um, so. There are some reviews of games that I'm going to be uh, putting out soon. Uh, City Skylines released an expansion that I love because I like building cities, you all know that. Um, I'm going to be doing a review of that. That'll be on my channel shortly. That kind of like, you know, brings people to the channel and while they're there, they can learn about Go. There's some games to be releasing this fall that I intend to do with the very least reviews on as well. Because again, it kind of like has that sort of hook to uh, get uh, fresh blood to the channel and while they're here if they 
are curious at all about this other stuff, they can learn about it because we're also having a beginner series for them, so that's cool. And if they're not, then you know that's cool too. So a couple of non couple of uh, non Go related videos will be you know peaking up. So I just wanna just just wanna warn you, just warning you, just warning you that that's on the way. So yeah, someone released uh, this video asking both Haley and myself to play each other. Uh, she's seen the video. Uh, we were talking about that um, off camera during the interview when we met for the interview. Uh, she's aware of it. I'm aware of it. I think that's going to occur sometime next month. You can look forward to that as well. Person who happily made this video in the hopes that it exists. It looks like it, it looks like this is probably going to exist. Can't say for sure until we actually play the game. Uh, but it looks like that's going to be a thing that will occur. I'm probably going to be streaming it. And then she's probably going to be putting up a video of it on her channel later. I think is where we're kind of uh, leaning towards right now. So you can look forward to this coming up probably in October. If everything works out for us. Uh, on the Patreon front, I've done a little bit of work there as well. Um, we have some goals that we are hit or miss. We keep kind of flipping back between the uh, 460-ish and 500 range. Uh, when we do hit 500, I've been doing uh, some night streams where we do our 9 Dawn games, because finding a game during the day on Netmarble now that we're 9 Dawn is really friggin' difficult. That is tough. You have to kind of play during their peak hours, and their peak hours are my evening hours, like playing at around midnight and like 1 a.m. That's kind of what we're looking to do. Uh, so that's that's always up there. That's always up there. I'll you know stay up 1 a.m. play some go, see uh, what nine dons we run into, how badly we get thrashed against professionals. Uh, but lots of fun. Lots of fun. I have added a few things though. Like I've decided that I will be removing ads from my go videos if we uh, hit 600. That is something that I think is probably a really good goal to, uh, to shoot for. I know some people have ad block on and don't hit the ads anyway. Uh, some people don't care, but some people kind of do. So I was like, all right, fine. That's, that's one of our goals. We hit that, we're gone. But I have other ideas as well, uh, such as ways to improve my videos. Like ever, a lot of people like the real board series. So I thought to myself, well, how can we improve the real board series? How, how, can we, how can we do better there? So I thought to myself, well, th there's an obvious answer. What if I decide to uh, upgrade my board? What if I decide, okay, uh, if we go ahead and hit, let's say, 650 per month, I will go ahead and purchase a floorboard for our videos so we can like up the quality of the board that we're playing on. They are very they are very very expensive as you can see here these are uh, on Go Game Guru for example. I uh, haven't looked around to see like who's got the best prices yet. I was just kind of looking for estimates. Uh, they're ridiculously expensive. Uh, but it looks like we're going to be looking at 670 at the very least at the very least uh, for a board, depending on what wood we want to go with, Agas Agathis or um, Shinkaya or like whatever, it looks like at the very least we're going for 670, so I'm like, all right, fine, we hit 650, I'll decide on a board and I'll pay the difference, right? So that's what we'll do, that's what we'll do. So that might be that might be a nice little, a nice little like upgrade to our, our, our presentation as it will. Um, if it continues to increase, we'll get slate and shell stones. Those are also ridiculously expensive nowadays. Like I remember back when I got my set that those things were like only like a hundred bucks or something. But now they've gone crazy. They're like 350 bucks, like 430, 500, 670, the price of a mmm. They're expensive. They're expensive. That's obviously a really, really, really expensive addition. So, 
Uh, if we hit that though, sure, great. Uh, another thing that I thought about doing and was on the fence about, but I had to create a, a study group for one of the patrons. Uh, here at 35 a month, I thought we'd meet maybe once a week. Don't click that, stupid. You're not subscribing to yourself. Why does it even let you do that? Like, it, that, that's me in the corner. You can't see it, it's off screen, but that's me. I'm signed in. Why would you like... But yeah, study group uh, where we meet uh, each maybe week, maybe every other week. I'm thinking each week on a Saturday uh, where we meet and discuss, you know, uh, amateur moves, professional moves, uh, your moves, my moves. Record the session for anyone who can't come and so they can view it later. Uh, it's like a nice fun little study group because I was kind of interested when I started hearing about, you know, Haley and how, you know, she was in a study group and she uh, had mixed opinions of it. But I hear some people really, really enjoy that kind of thing. So I thought, might be cool, might be cool to have uh, a study group that meets regularly. It'd be a nice way to uh, fund some of our uh, other Patreon goals. So I've thrown that on in there as well. Ultimately, of course, our goal is a 24 7 uh, Go channel, which I've also kind of been thinking about how to actually uh, do that, like logistics of it, as well as the programming. That's always in the back of my head because maybe we hit that one day, maybe we don't, but in case that ever actually happens, I want, you know, plans in place and not kind of be caught flat footed. So I've been thinking about that as well. Uh, those of you who have been attending the streams are also aware that I've been considering a trial run of it, in fact, in December. Because I think locally I could do that. Without going crazy and purchasing everything that I need, I think I've got the parts lying around to do kind of like a trial run of that. Assuming like I move to a place that doesn't have crappy internet. Because like the internet that I have right now is bandwidth capped each month. And if I tried doing that where I currently live, we'd blow that, mm, we'd, 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 we'd destroy that cap. It would be in pieces on the floor. It would be bad. Well, okay, it'd be good for my internet my service provider. They'd be calling me up and being like, we love you, here's your bill. <sighs> and <laughs> no, bad, 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 bad. Uh, other months I'm getting a lot of thought to is the month that's actually coming up, October. The one that we're about to be in very, very shortly. Uh, my lectures on October are gonna take a little bit of a different turn. We're going to have a theme for my lectures in October. And the theme that I hope to go with, I found a couple of examples, is Zombie Go. Because, you know, October, you think Halloween. And one thing I thought would be a lot of fun is to go and look at some games where stones that you think are dead keep coming back to life and haunt you. So doing kind of like a run of those games uh, might be kind of fun. If you think that you yourself have a game that fits this criteria, I'll even do uh, overtime uh, on my lecture days where I review your game. You can email me that at dwyron at dwyron.tv and if I think your game is suitable, then I'll add that to our regular lectures, and I'll do that afterwards. So you can go ahead and uh, so you can go ahead and you know email me your zombie go games, and if they're good, then we'll all get to look at them. I also noticed, but from my preview window that uh, some of the green is reflecting off my glasses and my eyeballs have been apparently disappearing occasionally throughout this video. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. But yes, that's a heads up on what you can expect from me uh, this fall and uh, winter seasons. I think a lot of what I've got planned you will really, really be enjoying. I'm also always open to suggestions, of course, if there's something that you really, really want to see. Maybe I can do it, for example. Um, one suggestion I got repeatedly is, could you look at uh, Shusaku's games? I do intend to go back and look at some more of Shusaku's games on a real board, so you can look forward to those coming at you as well. Um, what else? I feel like it's something like really important that I'm not saying. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, right! 
next year, I am going to go Congress. I'm absolutely going to go Congress next year. I've got the money. It's set aside. I'm not going to touch it. That is just go Congress money. We are going to go Congress next year. There's no... Unless they ban me from attending because, I don't know, maybe I get drunk and I say bad things about the AJ in one of my streams, I don't know. We're going, okay? Now, that said, I'm also thinking about going somewhere else. I don't want to give a lot of details about it right now. Suffice it to say, I may or may not be considering uh, a trip elsewhere. I've got some friends in various parts of the world. Uh, these wonderful friends are willing to do translation for me so I could do Go videos in some other countries to see how Go is played elsewhere. And I'm contemplating seeing if I can make that work next year, but that's going to be really expensive. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. But I think that wraps it up for my announcements uh, for today. Hope you enjoy and are looking forward to all the great content that I hope to bring you uh, through the coming months. Hope uh, you're main subbed and you get all of your friends who are in to go to hit that sub button as well so they too can enjoy uh, all of my great content. On that note, I have been streaming twice a week, so those of you who are showing up to the streams, I will see you there. And those of you who don't, you can check out my next video that'll probably be uploaded tomorrow. Either way, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.